Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at what tent I use, what sleeping bag I recommend and what sleeping pad I recommend. When I set up my tent, I try to keep in mind where the sun comes up and when the sun goes down. So I put the tent, if I can, in the shadow of the sun in the morning. Everybody wants the evening sun, but it's easy to forget the morning sun. When the sun starts shining on your tent at seven o'clock in the morning, it goes from heaven to hell in just a couple of seconds. And I want to set up my tent where it's as flat as possible. And I try to avoid too many bumps. Now I try to put my head a little bit higher than my feet. Oops. I highly recommend getting one of these uh, nozzle bags, or what it's called. It makes the job much easier. There's an integrated pump on the X-pad, and uh, that works great, but it takes a lot of time to pump up a paddle like this. And when it's almost full, I need to change to the other valve. Let's move the camera a little bit. I have to change to the one with the pump, integrated pump valve. We can also pump like this. I highly recommend you to check the R value of the sleeping pad. That gives you kind of an idea how good the uh, stuffing and how good it uh, isolates to, from the ground. Uh, I personally really like the, the X-pad uh, sleeping pads. Uh, I have the 7 centimeters and the 9 uh, centimeters uh, sleeping pad. Biggest difference between the two are the comfort when sleeping. Uh, they pack almost the same, but sleeping on it through many nights, uh, many days when you are standing on your bike a lot and you're riding a lot, it's good to have uh, extra padding for your back when you're sleeping. So I highly recommend the 9cm uh, sleeping pad. I know there's good sleeping pads from other brands as well, like Mammut, uh, Mountain Equipment, uh, Thermarast and other brands like that. They all do the same job. The reason I use um, X-Pad is because I think those pads gives most bangs for the buck. So what sleeping bag am I using? I use Halsport Rago Down Winter Pro Long and the main reason I I use Halsport, aside from it, it that it's a Norwegian brand, is that it makes really high quality stuff for a uh, yeah, medium amount of money. It's not cheap, but it's, uh, 
it's actually not that expensive if you compare what you get back for the money you pay. It's filled with the dove, down, down, dune. It's really good when it's getting cold outside. You have many options uh, to go for, but I always recommend uh, for traveling in Norway to have at least comfort temp on minus 10 degrees. Because when you ride around in Norway, you can experience all four seasons in just one day. This is uh, a normal tunnel tent and I prefer a three-person tent because I can uh, sleep really comfortable inside it and I can put all my equipment uh, on the place right next to me. When I'm sitting inside the tent, uh, my head don't reach the roof. The cons with a tent like this is uh, the ventilation in it is quite poor, so you will experience a lot of condensation. And the condensation can be a really problem because uh, every time you wake up in the morning, the tent is wet, so you need to dry it out. And if you don't get a lot of uh, ventilation through the tent, you won't be able to dry it up. So you need to pack down a wet tent and pack it up again a wet tent, and uh, that can be cumbersome and, uh, over a long period of time. Because I use my tent a lot in early season and late season, I'm looking into getting a tent that is uh, self-standing. On those tents, it's much easier to open up uh, the sides of the tent to make better ventilation through it, so the wind can uh, dry out the condensation much easier. This is a Fjellheimen Pro Camp 3 from Hellsport. I, th I feel like all the equipment I have from Hellsport is uh, fairly priced and you get a lot for money. Make sure to clean your tent. If it's get dirt, if you get it dirty or if you get uh, a lot of bird shit on it, wash it. Hang it up to dry when you get back home. If you take care of your gear, the gear will take care of you when you need it. And I always recommend having with a tarp when you're out uh, traveling. Like now, when the sun is up, you can put on the tarp and just uh, keep it a little bit above the tent and you won't get cooked by the sun so bad when, uh, like it would if you didn't use a tarp. Find some sticks and you can uh, stick it up so you have uh, almost like a roof over your head between the bike and the tent. There is a lot of good tarps on the market. Just find one you like and one that is big enough for your needs and uh, have it with you on your trips and use it as a roof or just use it as a wind protection or use it as a sun protection if you like. Oh. This is one of the reasons I like to pitch my tent close to the water or uh, close to rivers. Because you can uh, drink from the water, you can uh, bath, clean yourself, you can clean your equipment, you can clean, uh, wash up your uh, gear. So, um, and of course, I really like the sound of the, the river. It's almost like therapeutical. That was all I had for you today. Uh, I will come back to you with a review of uh, the Backpacker Mug, uh, a highly overdue uh, review of the Adventures Pack jacket I have. There will be a couple of reviews before the winter kicks in. Stay safe, I'll see you in the next one.